Hello, 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 Rock Solid Faith family. Welcome to our Bible in a Year reading plan. I am Shanique, and we are on day number da -da, 41. Thank you so much for joining us. So today we're going to be reading about the offerings from the leaders, and we're going to be looking at Numbers chapter 7. If you're new here, we're currently reading the Bible from Genesis to Revelation in a year. And if you'd like to join us, you can find the reading plan that we're currently using in the description box below. So just head to the description below and it will take you to our website where you can download that printable Bible in a year reading plan for free just to help you keep on track with each day's reading. Okay, and if you're new here as well, I encourage you just to hit that notification bell, hit that subscribe button, so you'll be notified whenever we release a new video. You won't have to go searching. You'll be notified whenever a new video is released. With that being said, it's time to jump right into today's audio Bible reading off Numbers. So let's get started. Numbers 7 Offerings of the Leaders. Now on the day that Moses had finished setting up the tabernacle, he anointed it and consecrated it with all its furnishings and the altar and all its utensils. He anointed them and consecrated them also. Then the leaders of Israel, the heads of their fathers' households, made an offering. They were the leaders of the tribes. They were the supervisors over the numbered men. When they brought their offering before the Lord, six covered carts and twelve oxen, a cart for every two of the leaders and an ox for each one, then they presented them in front of the tabernacle. Then the Lord spoke to Moses, saying, Accept these things from them, that they may be used in the service of the tent of meeting, and you shall give them to the Levites, to each man according to his service. So Moses took the carts and the oxen and gave them to the Levites. Two carts and four oxen he gave to the sons of Gershon, according to their service, and four carts and eight oxen he gave to the sons of Merari, according to their service, under the direction of Ithamar the son of Aaron the priest. But he did not give any to the sons of Kohath, because theirs was the service of the holy objects, which they carried on the shoulder. And the leaders offered the dedication offering for the altar when it was anointed. So the leaders offered their offering before the altar. Then the Lord said to Moses, They shall present their offering, one leader each day, for the dedication of the altar. Now the one who presented his offering on the first day was Nashan the son of Amminadab of the tribe of Judah, and his offering was one silver dish whose weight was one hundred and thirty shekels, and one silver bowl of seventy shekels in sanctuary shekels, both of them full of fine flour mixed with oil as a grain offering, one gold pan of ten shekels full of incense, one bull, one ram, and one male lamb one year old as a burnt offering, one male goat as a sin offering, and for the sacrifice of peace. Offerings, two oxen, five rams, five male goats, and five male lambs one year old. This was the offering of Nashan the son of Ammonadab. On the second day, Nethanel the son of Zur, leader of Issachar, presented an offering. He presented as his offering one silver dish whose weight was 130 shekels and one silver bowl of 70 shekels in sanctuary shekels, both of them full of fine flour mixed with oil as a grain offering, one gold pan of 10 shekels full of incense, one bull, one ram, and one male lamb one year old as a burnt offering, one male goat as a sin offering, and for the sacrifice of peace offerings, two oxen, five rams, five male goats, and five male lambs one year old. This was the offering of Nethanel the son of Zur. On the third day it was Eliab the son of Helen, leader of the sons of Zebulun. His offering was also one silver dish whose weight was 130 shekels and one silver bowl of 70 shekels in sanctuary shekels, both of them full of fine flour mixed with oil as a grain offering, one gold pan of 10 shekels full of incense, one bull, one ram, and one male lamb one year old as a burnt offering, one male goat as a sin offering, and for the sacrifice of peace offerings, two oxen, five rams, five male goats, and five male lambs one year old. This was the offering of Eliab the son of Helen. On the fourth day it was Elizer the son of Shadur, leader of the sons of Reuben. His offering was also one silver dish whose weight was 130 shekels, and one silver bowl of 70 shekels in sanctuary shekels, both of them full of fine flour mixed with oil as a grain offering, one gold pan of ten shekels full of incense, 
one bull, one ram, and one male lamb one year old as a burnt offering, one male goat as a sin offering, and for the sacrifice of peace offerings, two oxen, five rams, five male goats, and five male lambs one year old. This was the offering of Elizar the son of Shadur. On the fifth day it was Shalumiel the son of Zurashadai, leader of the sons of Simeon. His offering was also one silver dish whose weight was 130 shekels and one silver bowl of 70 shekels in sanctuary shekels, both of them full of fine flour mixed with oil as a grain offering, one gold pan of 10 shekels full of incense, one bull, one ram, and one male lamb one year old as a burnt offering, one male goat as a sin offering, and for the sacrifice of peace offerings, two oxen, five rams, five male goats, and five male lambs one year old. This was the offering of Shalumiel the son of Zurashadai. On the sixth day it was Eliazaph the son of Duel, leader of the sons of Gad. His offering was also one silver dish whose weight was 130 shekels and one silver bowl of 70 shekels in sanctuary shekels, both of them full of fine flour mixed with oil as a grain offering, one gold pan of 10 shekels full of incense, one bull, one ram, and one male lamb one year old as a burnt offering, one male goat as a sin offering, and for the sacrifice of peace offerings, two oxen, five rams, five male goats, and five male lambs one year old. This was the offering of Eliazaph the son of Duel. On the seventh day it was Elishama the son of Amahad, leader of the sons of Ephraim. His offering was also one silver dish whose weight was 130 shekels and one silver bowl of 70 shekels in sanctuary shekels, both of them full of fine flour mixed with oil as a grain offering, one gold pan of 10 shekels full of incense, one bull, one ram, and one male lamb one year old as a burnt offering, one male goat as a sin offering, and for the sacrifice of peace offerings, two oxen, five rams, five male goats, and five male lambs one year old. This was the offering of Elishama the son of Amahad. On the eighth day it was Gamaliel the son of Pedazer, leader of the sons of Manasseh. His offering was also one silver dish whose weight was 130 shekels and one silver bowl of 70 shekels in sanctuary shekels, both of them full of fine flour mixed with oil as a grain offering, one gold pan of 10 shekels full of incense, one bull, one ram, and one male lamb one year old as a burnt offering, one male goat as a sin offering, and for the sacrifice of peace offerings, two oxen, five rams, five male goats, and five male lambs one year old. This was the offering of Gamaliel the son of Pedazer. On the ninth day it was Abidon the son of Gideoni, leader of the sons of Benjamin. His offering was also one silver dish whose weight was 130 shekels and one silver bowl of 70 shekels in sanctuary shekels, both of them full of fine flour mixed with oil as a grain offering, one gold pan of 10 shekels full of incense, one bull, one ram, and one male lamb one year old as a burnt offering, one male goat as a sin offering, and for the sacrifice of peace offerings, two oxen, five rams, five male goats, and five male lambs one year old. This was the offering of Abidon the son of Gideoni. On the tenth day it was Ahazer the son of Amishadai, leader of the sons of Dan. His offering was also one silver dish whose weight was 130 shekels and one silver bowl of 70 shekels in sanctuary shekels, both of them full of fine flour mixed with oil as a grain offering, one gold pan of 10 shekels full of incense, one bull, one ram, and one male lamb one year old as a burnt offering, one male goat as a sin offering, and for the sacrifice of peace offerings, two oxen, five rams, five male goats, and five male lambs one year old. This was the offering of Ahazer the son of Amishadai. On the eleventh day it was Pagiel the son of Akron, leader of the sons of Asher. His offering was also one silver dish whose weight was 130 shekels and one silver bowl of 70 shekels in sanctuary shekels, both of them full of fine flour mixed with oil as a grain offering, one gold pan of 10 shekels full of incense, one bull, one ram, and one male lamb one year old as a burnt offering, one male goat as a sin offering, and for the sacrifice of peace offerings, two oxen, five rams, five male goats, and five male lambs one year old. 
This was the offering of Pagiel the son of Akron. On the twelfth day it was Ahira the son of Anan, leader of the sons of Naphtali. His offering was also one silver dish whose weight was 130 shekels and one silver bowl of 70 shekels in sanctuary shekels, both of them full of fine flour mixed with oil as a grain offering, one gold pan of 10 shekels full of incense, one bull, one ram, and one male lamb one year old as a burnt offering, one male goat as a sin offering, and for the sacrifice of peace offerings, two oxen, five rams, five male goats, and five male lambs one year old. This was the offering of Ahira the son of Anan. This was the dedication offering for the altar from the leaders of Israel when it was anointed. Twelve silver dishes, twelve silver bowls, and twelve gold pans, each silver dish weighing 130 shekels and each bowl 70. All the silver of the utensils totaled 2,400 in sanctuary shekels, the twelve gold pans full of incense, weighing ten shekels apiece in sanctuary shekels, all the gold of the pans totaled one hundred and twenty shekels. All the oxen for the burnt offering totaled twelve bulls, all the rams, twelve, the male lambs one year old with their grain offering, twelve, and the male goats as a sin offering, twelve, and all the oxen for the sacrifice of peace offerings totaled twenty-four bulls, all the rams, sixty, the male goats, sixty, and the male lambs one year old, sixty. This was the dedication offering for the altar after it was anointed. Now when Moses entered the tent of meeting to speak with him, he heard the voice speaking to him from above the atoning cover that was on the Ark of the Testimony, from between the two cherubim. So he spoke to him. Okay, so in Numbers chapter 7, we witness a beautiful act of dedication and generosity among the leaders of Israel. Each tribe's leader, they present an offering to the Lord for the dedication of the tabernacle. And these offerings, they consist of items such as silver, plates, and bowls, and lambs for the sacrifice. And their willingness to give sacrificially reflects a heart that's fully committed to honoring God and his dwelling am place among them. This chapter teaches us about the importance of sacrificial giving and dedication in our worship of God. Now, just as the leaders of Israel, they offer their best to the Lord, we are called to present ourselves as living sacrifices, holy and pleasing to God. So our resources, our time, our talents, our gifts from God. And when we give them back to him in worship and service, we acknowledge his faithfulness in our lives. So as we reflect on the example set by the leaders of Israel in our reading for today, let's examine our own hearts and consider how we can give up ourselves, give up our talents, our resources, our gifts to God. May our giving be an expression of gratitude for all that he has done for us and a demonstration of our commitment to his kingdom. So today, I just want you to reflect on this. In what ways can you give up your time, your resources, your talents to honor God and to further his kingdom? All right, that is our podcast episode for today. Thank you so much for joining us. And we'll see you tomorrow for a new video of our Bible in a Year reading plan.